Good evening, everyone. John Henderson Pierre, the Beer Ramble and Gambling. Looking at Ember Ale by Bell's Brewery. Bush. 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 Bam. Uh, this beer is sort of the portfolio of Bell's Brewery and their signature beers. Many beers are available nationwide. Uh, breweries based in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and Comstock, seven miles to, in Comstock, Michigan. 5.8% ABV. This is an American Amber Red Ale style beer. So into the lines of that tire. 5.8%. Mmm. This should be good. Uh, the brewery, uh, brewed in 1985, of course, this is a, because this is their signature beer, uh, embodies the heritage of our brewery and celebrates the nature of the Great Lakes region. And I've had several other beers from them. I've had the Two-Hearted Ale, which is good by Bell's. Also the Midwestern Pale Ale, I've had that. That's also really good. Those are the two that I would say that we get here in, in my wonderful state of Alabama. Anyhow, I wish we could get more beer. You know, still waiting for balance on it. But anyhow, that's another video, another topic. Um, um, they, about, about seven or eight beers are quite available nationwide. And um, they're, like I said, the three I've mentioned, I told I've tried and they're really good. So, um, 86 score, there it is again, the bottle, uh, 86 score on Beer Advocate, 97 world class by the bros, which means they really like this beer. Um, here's the color, the look, I got this light, I'm in my um, bedroom right now, I'm doing this video, a little quiet right now. Let's take a look at the color here. Quite nice. Sound of a lot of this bread smell, a lot of malt to this to this beverage here. You can see there's not much foam, a lot of lacing right now on this on the top, as you can see here. But it uh, has a really nice scent to it right now, like I'm about to eat like a nice roll with all these different flavors, you know, bread roll, you know. So. Nice scent. Now, the taste. Mm. This is good. 5.8, not bad. It's really good. A little bite in the end. But... I don't know what I'm, I'm kind of tasting here, but this is some sweetness to it. And there's some cloves or some coriander. I don't know if they close coriander, but some allspice, like it, like it's like a a sweet bread type taste. I'm I'm, I'm getting here. A little more lacing on the beer, you can see. I don't know. I mean, it's a nice finish. It's really you know, it's kind of hard to predict. I mean, it's kind of a little sweet. It's it it it, it finishes well. Um, this is, this is pretty good. It's 
not bad. I mean, this is, I mean, this is really good. I mean, I don't know what I'm getting. I mean, it's a nice sweetness, raisiny finish going down. Not, not overly sweet, folks. Just a tang sweet. This is, this is pretty, pretty good. Um, the brewery has uh, a cafe called Eccentric Cafe, and it opened up, I believe, in the early 2000s, or it might be in the late, early 2000s or late 90s, and basically bar food, typical, you know, burgers, you know, finger food, um, sandwiches, you know, whether it be Rubens or a grilled chicken sandwich, whatever. And speaking of food pairings, this can go well with um, a nice sharp cheese, you know, blue cheese or maybe sharp cheddar, um, you know, whether it be a typical standard Angus burger or even a turkey burger, you want to go poultry, um, grilled chicken, um, maybe a, a fried, uh, not fried flounder, something seafood wise, you know, maybe bass can go with this or tilapia if you're getting fresh and you're gonna have depends how you cook it not fried um you know they'd be sauteed or whatever this this beer pairing with those those styles of foods will go well with this and i can see why it's world class and we're getting a lot of these beers from michigan like i said I, i've never been disappointed by any of their beers you know this is my first time having the amber ale I've had, I mentioned the two hearted and the Midwestern, and uh, those are probably excellent, excellent beverages they put out by that brewery. And um, I'm starting to sample more and buy more of their beers now. Um, places that I go, whether it be Rouse's or um, the Greer's uh, super, supermarket, you know, the store, you know, the cost of the stuff plus they add 10% or. As one colleague, Ronald J. Terrio, mentioned, it's pay more, more for more, or I guess food for less or food for more or whatever it is. But there's one of those style stores, those type of supermarkets that, that do that. And it, it's a bit frustrating as a gimmick. But again, if you're, you know, need to get something right around the corner and you need to purchase something, um, you know, right down the street, milk, whatever, and you're pretty much at the mercy of those stores, you know, instead of traveling 20, 30, 40 minutes away or 10, 15 minutes away to the nearest Walmart or whatever, Winn-Dixie or whatever smart you may have, where you won't have to do all that, where this store is like, you know, less than 10 minutes away and you're, you need something, you know, to keep the kid quiet, you know, need some milk because you're in the urge for to have some cereal at, 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, it's happened. I've, I've done that too. Um, or get some bread and want to make a PBJ. Whatever. So, um, But I've bu I bought beers there and they've had several of these beers. Uh, the beer, many beers from Bell's uh, Brewery and quite and a few others. But um, and it costs like $7.99 but I ended up paying like almost like close to $10.00. But add the tax and city tax, whatever. I, I don't know. <sighs> frustrating people, very frustrating. But in any event, um, this is a really good beer. A really good beer, and I can see why they gave him a, a, a world class score. It's very good, the advocate, and I'm I'm enjoying this too. This is where beer should be made. I mean, not every beer, but, you know, some. I'm going to give this a solid nine and a half. Could be a ten. I think this is really good. So, very, very, very enjoyable. This is, now I see, you know, this is their signature beer. This is their pro, most popular beer. And, um, I, you know, it, it really stands out. So, 
Tell me your thoughts and your comments on this. If you've had Bell's Amber Ale and you sampled it and you enjoyed it and you thought it was the best thing ever and you agree with the scores and Bear Advocate, leave your comments on the bottom screen and tell me what you think. Um, solid 10. Solid 9.5, excuse me. It's been a long day. I'm kind of tired. It's nighttime, so. Anyhow. John Henderson Pierre, the Beard TV Ramble, telling you to keep watching. And as always, cheers.